Okay, so we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to look at the audio portion of production and how that's done and how it's set up, the hardware that I use to get it done. And uh, we're going to go from there. So to just start off, you know, I've been using the Personas Studio Live 32S for four years now. And I really love the mixing board, hasn't really given me too many problems. And I use it to uh, mix all of our music and sound for films, um, social media videos, music, you name it. We mix all of it in here. And I use the Persona Studio Live 32S board. It's a 32 channel um, digital mixing board that's connectable by AVB, um, which is a networked audio format. And it's also connectable by USB 2.0. And so these can also be linked together with other Personas products um, that serve the networked audio um, properties. Okay, so that's how I get stuff done. Um, that's the beginning hardware that I use. And we're gonna look a little bit into the actual hardware itself and how it's set up. So let's go over to the board and uh, look at that. Okay, so here's how the board's set up. On the right side, I have auxiliary mixes and each one of these channels controls the output to the speakers. And on the physical backside, which we'll go to in just a little bit here, um, you have you know auxiliary one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the 16 auxiliary um, outputs and the way it's the way it's putting out audio is the first two here are left and right speakers which is auxiliary one and two the second set here is um three which is the center speaker that's usually right in front of me um, but it's taken down temporarily and then four which is my subwoofer my lfe channel and then five and six are my left and right side speakers and then seven and eight are my rear speakers. Now I can hook up more um, speakers here and make, you know, make a larger surround sound environment by connecting, you know, top speakers and things like that. So right now the setup is 7.1. And if I were to add like four more speakers on the top of me, um, you would be looking at 7.1. Uh, I'm sorry, you would be looking at 11.1. Uh, so that yeah, means you have a 11 speakers or seven speakers with uh, one LFE channel. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, all right, you showed me the whole right side of the board. Now what's going on with the rest of the 24 tracks? Well, these are all input tracks here in the middle. Um, so, and it's weird because on the Mac uh, setup for this board, channel one and two here control the um, left and right stereo outputs that are coming from the computer into the um, the speakers. And the way that's done is it has a, route, a, a virtual routing system in here where I can wire channels here on my left side of my board that are coming out of the computer to a pair of speakers here um, and you're just linking them in uh, with the portion of the mixer that's virtual inside. And so we'll get into that in, in another um, lesson. But at a glance, that's what is going on here. You have the input channels here. Uh, my microphone is on channel 17. And I can choose the level that each one of those speakers gets of this microphone very easy. Um, all I have to do is... I go to the mix channel that I want to um, control the level of the mic coming out of. So say, for instance, I want to control uh, mix one and two, which is a left and right speaker. And I want to add more um, vocal mic to it so you can hear more of the vocal mic. Then I would just imp uh, up this input here and that would come out of your um, auxiliary uh, channels one and two, which are left and right. So you can control the individual input of that uh, sound going through that channel. And that's, you know, the basics of how surround sound is set up on the board itself as far as playback. And then you know how, now how my inputs are set up. Um, but I do have, you know, uh, 32 inputs here. And 
very easy to set up. All right, so let's take a look at the back of this uh, this mixer here so I can show you how these auxiliaries are coming out. Let's see if I can get in good enough. I have to move some stuff a little bit here. All right, so here's the mix outs. And like I said, you got left and right speaker. You got the... Um, the center that would go there normally in the middle and then you have subwoofer and then this right now five I'm actually using to go out into my cinema camera when I'm recording through the board but typically it's used for five and six which is the side speakers and then you have seven eight my rear but you can see there's other mix outs that I can use to be able to get um, more speakers out on the surround sound so I'll go a little bit more in depth about this back plane of this mixer um, to give you more overview of it, but that's how I ha typically have it set up um, when I'm, you know, mixing and things like that. So that's how it's working. In the next video, um, you'll see more deeper into the software side of things. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will make more videos very soon. I'm going to come out with a series of Persona Studio Live 32S um, mixing board tutorials and show you how to connect this um, board into the software of Pro Tools next and look for that to come out in the next few days. Um, I'm going to take a deep dive where I show how the physical connections are routed um, to Pro Tools and out of Pro Tools and how that's set up on the Mac. Um, I don't have a PC set up for it now, um, though I can you know, build it out and I will do those uh, later down the road. But right now I'm going to focus on the Mac because that's what I predominantly use for producing music and um, videos and editing. So until next time, um, we'll get together and we'll talk more about this setup. All right. Thanks for joining.